Sylvester Clark to Dyson. Gone, right through him. So Dyson's gone, ball six for 100. Clark to Lilly. And there is success. Clark to Marsh. Beautifully timed by Marsh. An effective batsman when he hits. And that has got to be out. Yes. Sylvester so Clark. Well bowled. It's a different line and moved up. Who played a very important part in yesterday's victory for the West Indies. Close to wide, that one surely. And the ball has ended at the moment by Tony Crafter at the other end, allowing the West Indies to get away with it. Down there, so he can have a chat to the bowler. So it's not bad cap to see by Richards. Well, Sylvester, Sylvester came in front and then performed a magnificent run. Fine shot, straight to mid off. Right. And Sylvester Clark's pace, he should be up there. by the betting quite difficult. A bit lucky there. Boom bowl chance. Good save. Brilliant save by the big man. So that's the clock going down to his right. Uh, Irving Rosenwood informs us that we've lost 12 minutes. So Sylvester Clark bowls a bouncer and straight away a signal of wide. It's the crowd love. Slaps. And his current strike rate, the tyre power. Batting 71.07. It's in the air, this must be out. Back is going to get what a great catch. That was a magnificent catch there by Jim Hughes, the Australian vice captain. The bowler's end. It's in the air and just over Andy Roberts' head. And it's going down to the mid-on boundary as well. Andy Roberts won't stop you all. That field certainly blew then, Tony. He was looking to get off the mark and one of the problems...